Hello, how you doing? Back in just another little, quick little conch update. Um, they are feeling so much better already. As you can see, the swelling has gone down a hell of a lot. There's no 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 super redness anymore. There's no puffiness, no nastiness. Just um, nice little happy conches. Still a little bit of swelling. Let's see how close I can get in there. It's still a little bit of swelling. It's still a little bit of crustiness around the edges. But they're settled in so nicely already. They've actually settled down a lot quicker than I often do. And I'm pretty sure it's because having the ears out from the pretty much from the word go. Normally I'd keep them in for a few days until it gets so sore I take them out. <laughs> but I think having these out from the from the word go has made them so much happier. But um yeah, on the on the topic of these, got them back in literally ten minutes ago. Been home from work. Haven't been home from work particularly long. But um well half an hour or whatever. But no, I thought I'd just see if I can actually get them back in. I just wanted to see first if I could wear them and not put too much pressure on the actual conchers. But like I say, because they've gone, the swelling has gone down so much, and I can actually touch them now without too much discomfort. They're still not perfect, and it's still going to be awkward sleeping on them. But they're, they are way better, and, and these aren't causing a problem whatsoever. But, um, they've shrunk down a little bit, a little bit more than I expected they would actually, considering they've been out, not even been out a full week. I had to take off. I'll show you. Oh, I can't see my point. The camera. This is from one side, and then over here we've got all this on the other side. <laughs> so I actually had to take off quite a few layers of tape, but it, should, it shouldn't be too long. They all they they should stretch back up again pretty quickly. These are um, the plugs are eighty six millimeters, I think, something like that. Just about eighty six, and they got a couple of layers of tape on still. With a very small gap. No, the gap's not too bad. The gap's actually stretching out again already. So that's the thing. Like I said before, when you when you do have to downsize your ears for a little while, they do stretch up very quickly. And there's literally not even a full week that they've been out. So chances are they will be back up to, to um, full 90 with all the tape on them again in no time. But yeah. So that's... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. So they've, they've settled down really quickly already. A lot quicker than I actually expected they would. Which certainly isn't a bad thing. And they, the, the quicker they um, settle down, obviously, the better. Just because it's less pain. I mean, that's obvious, but yeah. But yeah, they're all together. I'm actually really, really impressed with how quickly they've, they've settled down. So, it's going to be... I still don't know how well you can see. I can't even see the screen. <laughs> but... More text, sorry. But there is still a very small amount of swelling around, just around both of them. And in the screen, yep. Are we blurry? No, I think we're good. There is just a very small amount of swelling around both of them. Uh, I, I do often find the very last little bit of swelling tends to, um, excuse me, tends to hang around the longest. So it might well be like that for another week or two, or or maybe even two or three weeks. Just that very last little bit, but they will they'll settle down quite quickly, like pain-wise. I say there's still a tiny bit tender to touch. Excuse me, I've got nose. There's still a tiny bit tender to the touch, and the backs aren't too swollen at all, which is good. They actually start to get a little bit itchy, which usually means they're um, well under well. Excuse me, sorry. They're well under um, way healing, which is good. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. And um, I haven't really shown my set them off much. But yeah, this is um, obviously the 26mm jewellery. This has settled down really easily as well, actually, which is quite surprising. Generally speaking, it, um, it's fine for two or three days, and then it starts getting really sore as the constant pressure begins to um, sort of push back the cartilage. But, but no, that's actually, that's actually gone really well. As well, which is good. I don't, I don't really know why this all seems to have gone quite so easily, but I'm certainly not complaining that it has. It's, um, I mean, obviously, ideally, that's how it's, that's, that's how it would go every time. It's very short, if any, discomfort, and then back to normal within a few days. But, but no, so all together, pretty pleased. My bridge is really grumpy today. 
I don't quite know why. It's got an especially um, fiery and red, the little scar bit there. I'm not entirely sure why, I don't know, maybe I stepped on it funny or something, or bashed it without realising or something. I'm not quite sure, but... That shouldn't be, um... Well, I can't remember how long it was last time in between the scar appearing and how much it shrank down. It must have been... Well, several months. So... I'm not too concerned about it, I'm sure. I've got no doubt it'll, it'll go down again the same as last time. But yeah. But yeah. Um... Yeah, that's a little quick little update. I probably won't... Do another update for a, for a few days. I might do just one more in a week's time, just to like wrap it all up, and hopefully most of the, or at least the majority of the last of the little swelling and the crusty bits will have gone by then anyway. So, yeah. I'm actually like I said, I'm actually really surprised just how quickly this settled down. But it's certainly not a bad thing. But it's just it's just one of those things. It's a they're always a very tender painful piercing to stretch no matter how long you leave them but um yeah you've just sort of got to grin, sort of grin and bear the pain and, and just just go through with it but <laughs> and just wait for it to settle down again but no oh, in all I'm pretty happy I, I do really like this jewellery <laughs> and I'm back again sorry about that the um camera went off yet again been doing well recently but anyway yeah so um what was I saying? Yeah, quite quite happy with this new jewellery. So it's the first time using um, what you call it, Delrin, and it's it's not it's no problem. I was a little bit nervous about it, obviously because it's sort of a plasticky polymer type material, and I'm used to just using glass up until this point. But it is very very light, which which helps. That's obviously that's another good drawer of glass as well, and it is very smooth. If you can get Delrin pieces made by someone who knows what they're doing and has and has quite a bit of talent actually creating them. They can be incredibly smooth, which is which is perfect for something like this stretch and a cartilage piercing. And yeah, I, I do think they look good as well. I, pref I generally prefer the black jewelry. I think it just looks a bit more. I can't think of the word, but less. It doesn't stand out as much as white jewelry, like what I had in my set to beforehand. I just generally prefer black darker jewellery, it just ties everything to be together nicer I suppose, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, I will disappear off now before my, um, my my camera decides to die again. I'm going to have to edit these together again, which is a little bit irritating, but whatever. I'll get that done and I'll get this posted. And um, I will, like I said, maybe I'll, I'll do another video in um, perhaps another week's time. Just one last little wrap up video just to show show what they're looking like and um, hopefully the last of the spelling will be gone by then you can sort of see a little bit of the crusty bits there which is lovely but that should all heal up soon as well like I say again that's pretty much unavoidable when you do stretch cartilage piercings but yeah but yeah I hope, um, I hope this has been a little bit interesting to someone and um, I'll see you again soon with another video catch you later bye